All righty. Got a shot here. Shwing. 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 Okay. Short and sweet. What is this? 108 frames. This is based on reference. Let me check here. Shwang, shwing, shwing, shwing. Cool. MC Hammer pans. I love it. Now, let me quickly double check something. If I bring this and say viewer horizontal, bring this in here. Shwing, 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 shwing. Okay. It's not exactly sticking to that plate, which you don't have to, of course. And it's taking what? The first stab pose here. Then you go up, which would be on the right side, something around this. I do love how it's kind of a slight shuffle over with a long, with a lean into it. Look at that. That's cool. I like that. And then going back in. But then it would almost go wah -wah, back in there. In your case, you're bringing this up like that, which would be this one. And then shwah, 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 turns, 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 which in your case, you have that in there. Yeah, where are you taking this pose on the right, which is there into up. And that's on the right side around here ish, right? Shwing. Okay. Not sure you need this pose here. Let me go back to the big one. So if I look at this here, I think what's probably going to help you, like the way I approach this sometimes, sometimes when you have reference like this, right? I mean, it's actually be all boring and bring it back up. <laughs> There's some good stuff here, right? You got all of these. And since the camera is not moving too much, I know there's a bit of a follow, especially at the end. There's a, a pretty good way to just put that into Maya and then just trace this and get most of this into your scene quickly. And then you can start deleting things. So right now, I feel like we don't have enough information. You're talking here about, let me see. Uh, you got the golden poses. So you need fresh eyes in terms of appeal and timing. It's just some of these are, are fairly rough. Like, I don't mind when you have... But then here it feels like oh, oh, I'm really dragging. This needs to have either more information to understand why he's lingering back so far here or for so long. It just feels like it's dragging out. And then is this is this a swing? If there's another sword here, swing was that a move down with an arc in whatever way to deflect another sword? Because then after that, it's this. But it's not this as in I'm here swinging now, swing to move someone's sword away so that the person is now, you know, whatever it is, like, oh, it's over there, the sword has been pushed out this way, oh, and this ear, the person is open, so now the character, put it on and skinning on here, can go, shwang, but not this, right? So if I take this and I draw this fantastically as I always do, sarcasm, and then do this, I would not go back into that pose, I would now go forward, with like a nice long elongated here and then sword into the face, sword into the chest, you know what I mean? And then really lean forwards to attack that person. Like I would basically, if you're looking just for an exercise, I would look at taking those poses and just pushing it in terms of the timing and the intent and all that good stuff. So what does this guy do? Right, so he's got a little bit of a taunting stab. And then he is shing, potentially phew, there could be a sword hit here shing, that he's blocking. But the thing is, he's doing this to nothing. So the timing wouldn't really work because I would go shing, hold phew, phew, and to this. And then what is that? Like I would take that away. That's more like you do block and get away. And then it doesn't do much to me. That's more like a posturing it's it's more like you want to go whew, into this and then straight into shaw, into that that makes sense actually let me open this in quick time and i always wish that someone would read a quick time <laughs> to uh, allow for the copy paste and edit function from players because i can now take this and say all right well i like this i don't like what he's doing in the middle here that's a bit boring and go straight into this. I like that little double step there. It's going to pop, obviously, but still. I want him to go from this to up here 
into the next. Right, we don't have anything before. No, it's not really that usable. So it's going to be from this to a pop. Cut this out, and it's more like taunting block and sure. You know what I mean? Even this, you don't. You would really need to taunt. You can basically start from from here. Like it just started on action, right? And then it's back block. Get away from me! Sha sha! Death strike. But even then, I wouldn't even have that pause. It would just be going into... What is he doing? He's... Get away into... Straight into that thing. Yeah, I mean, you can even... Then, it gets obviously even poppier. But cut out even more just so that you have this feeling of... Right? Can I loop this? the hockey for looping oh i got it ah but when you edit things it messes up the footage that you worked on see that all the skipping stuff yeah that's good old quick time that to me is what i would take in terms of the ideas there might just be a return right and even this starting pose could be tweaked even though there's a good let me change tools here it's a good lean forward but i can't go frame by frame with that tool but anyway, you have that. And then I like this idea of... When I like that, he is, like I said, there might be blocking of another sword, but he's doing this while leaning forward. So there's still weight towards the opponent. I think that's pretty cool. Then it could be... Almost like, get away from me. And then... Right into that, right? All that flourishing into the next one. So to me, that's what I would take. Don't save. And when I look at this, it gives me kind of a... Okay, so that's the first taunt. But then it goes immediately back into a block where it's... It's almost like I need to go backwards from this to this to this. Just timing-wise, it's going to be... I'm attacking and immediately back. Like, that's going to take a lot more time in your animation because you're moving forward. Now, this leg has to push the body back. And you don't have, obviously, I, don't, I know this is just stepped, but if even if you add stuff, it's going to take a while for that. Let's go back here. From this, the, the root goes screen left, then has to stop and return. And on top of that, push up to go into this pose. And then it feels almost a bit boring where you go up with that lean. And then we stay where I would almost, either you go further. And he has like a, a, a broader get off into a strike down which would now be more in the middle and then even this would be leaning forward into take this out into that but that like i said would be really leaning forward that's kind of the thought that i that i would have looking at this where i was kind of look at what are the actions what are trying to push and then think in terms of rhythm timing wise where it's I might attack and go back and show and and you know that last thing where you're you're blocking or retreating or something hold for a block and then flourish into show into a fast attack that type of thing and actually speaking of pushing reference funny enough i just emailed someone let's see do i still have that link in my i do not hold on i have it here i had someone that just asked me about pushing poses and someone else that was asking about how to have their workflow be faster. And my question was based on what they sent, if that was based on reference. And the reason why I'm asking all this is because Ricky did this fantastic thing here. Let's turn this off just quick. Where you see like that type of thing. And I frequently do the same thing here where you take the reference and I just wrote with the reference. This is so much faster. Just put that in there. And it's usually kind of like, eh, it's okay, but it's not pushed, right? Like he says, your rapid rotoscope always lacks energy when you do that. And then you start pushing the timing and cameras and ideas, and he pushes even more with cool stuff like that. Like, that's really cool. I love all that. So then you can see here, this is halfway through where to push things, line of action, and so on. So that's what I would recommend for some reason I have just a frame in here <laughs> i wanted to see if i had the links in there but so if you take this reference look at what's in there and then push that so that it's not just taking 
I would say a random pose. I think you have good pose in terms of what's happening, a stab, a block, a flourish into the next attack. That's fine. But looking at maybe have in mind what's going on there and then you know what what is what is the other opponent and make sure that then you think about that when you adjust the timing, right? So when you do have something like this, give this enough time for going back to the mechanics, but also for an imaginary strike and then return here. And then something about just the energy and pushing down when someone has retreat, right? You go back and then pushing forward that this doesn't go back, right? The root shouldn't go back at the end. Because otherwise, are you saying, is this the main strike? Because you are going forward. Here's that a, a downward slash. And then you just go back to what? A, a defensive but aggressive pose? Or is that the last pose in terms of attack? Because that's just not quite clear, if that makes sense. So anyway, I hope that all the whole thing makes sense. And if not, uh, let me know. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.